blink, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, should we go over to Darren Brown for the answer? Let's have a look. is genuinely evil <laughs> to do that to a man and then just put him back in the pub. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> the young man in question was absolutely fine. <laughs> for legal reasons, I have to say that he didn't go, he didn't go crazy or anything. All the ones that went crazy, they didn't put in the programme. <laughs> reasons. They're sort of roaming the highlands of Scotland. <laughs> thinking about on the moon. Yeah, there's a they, Welsh yeah. fellow that cut his nuts Ever off. <laughs> 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 OK, next one. What had alligator wrestling, camel riding, jiu-jitsu champion Martin Croson done wrong? He was claiming disability benefits. No. No. We, what, we put benefit cheat because we figured he was obviously benefit cheating. Benefit cheat is along the right lines. Yeah. Uh, disability I mean, benefit is exactly right. It's specifically benefit disability fraud. benefit. We were a bit different. Benefit yes. fraud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because you wrote benefit fraud and got it right, but actually what came out was uh, cruelty to animals. Oh. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not Cruelty to thought. animals. <laughs> yes, and he was sat on a baby crocodile. Have you ever cooked one? Yes, I have, yeah. What do they taste like? Fucking disgusting. <laughs> Tough and really? horrible. Yeah, it's gross. Good. Well, you didn't put it in a soup recently, did you? <laughs> <laughs> you disguise it as an egg. With an egg on it. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, I can tell you that the correct answer is he was claiming disability benefit on the grounds that he was virtually unable to walk. <laughs> <laughs> now, before I give you your scores, I've got a bonus question for you, and here to ask it, I can scarcely believe my luck, it's the new Doctor Who, Mr David Tennant. <laughs> Are you excited about this? Um, I, I'm very excited about it, yeah. It's a bit daunting, you know, taking on this kind of well-loved character and all that. It's sort of, uh... I've read that you used to dream, when you were little, you used to dream about being Doctor Who. Is that true? Yeah, I mean, uh, but everyone at my age did, I think. You know, we all grew up absolutely loving it. I thought it was incredible. I mean, I couldn't believe how good it was when it came back. Yeah, with, yeah. It's one of those childhood things that you think, actually, it's not going to deliver. Mm. And it so delivered the first series. Mm. Mm. How did it's you all get... going to go downhill next series. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> well, I was going to ask how you managed to convince Christopher Eccleston to get out. Did you say, oh, you'd be typecast? Be a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just do one just... series each and then you're never going to leave. That's it. It's we Jimmy Cranky next year. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Can I compliment David on his role in Blackpool? You can, thank you very much, Rob. Cheers. I thought you were very can good I, in that. Can I compliment you on your role as Casanova? Thank you very much, Jonathan, you me. Can I compliment Anyone else? you? <laughs> there was a lovely piece on you in one of the supplements this weekend. <laughs> and, uh, I thought you came over very well in that. Right. <laughs> can I compliment you on the drawing my little boy did of you, in which you look most handsome? I'd like to see that. Yes, I will show it to you. Top right. that, Bryden. <laughs> I think if you could have picked I'd two people... I'd actually like to compliment you on the size of your feet. <laughs> <laughs> it's the shoes more than my actual feet. But thank you anyway. Tell, tell you what, though, Sharon, he's got a lovely cock as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a baby's arm holding an apple. I <laughs> see what you want. It's like the TARDIS. It feels so much bigger once it's inside me. <laughs> <laughs> not that I know. Not that I know. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. <laughs> Can I, can, I ask, uh, can I ask a question? Of all Doctor Who's that there have been, yeah. everybody has a favourite, yeah. who did you think was the worst? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, th I'm guessing Sylvester McCoy, but you may want to go somewhere else with it. I, it's probably going to be me. That's the yeah. terrible oh, truth. Oh, stop it. Oh, oh, come on, on now. You can learn a lot from him, Jonathan. <laughs> I think he's... <laughs> <laughs> 
I think he's going to be great as Doctor Who. I'm really looking forward to it. And you've got the Cybermen coming up, haven't you? We've got the Cybermen coming back, yeah. I love the Cybermen. Yeah, yeah, Who else? Yeah. You got any other oldies coming back? Any old villains? We've got Keenan coming back. Oh, he's oh, great. I'm not, yeah. I'm not sure about that. Is that a good idea? It's Kane a very good idea. Have they given us a streamlined Keenan, or is it the same one, which no, is basically he's a cardboard and... box painted silver? <laughs> with the he's he's old and battered and rusty and hanging together with. with... Oh, maybe Don't have a go at Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit okay. like R2-D2, isn't it? In the new movies, R2-D2 is can suddenly jump, spin, fizzle. Yeah. So if you go chronologically, it's as though he had a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the first Star Wars, because it's meant to be going on, but he yeah. just goes around going... <laughs> <laughs> the technology in the ones which are meant to be old is better than the technology. Yeah, sure, exactly. The reason chat rooms were invented were for men like you. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's move on. Now, you've got a question for us. Oh. OK. It's a, it's a what happened next style of question, if you like. And the, the question is, which part of my new anatomy am I about yeah. to refer to? Before I go, I just want to tell you, you were fantastic. And you know what? So was I. Write down your answers, everyone. What have you got, Jonathan? I'm still, draw I'm still drawing. Hold on. Yeah. Still drawing. This yeah, doesn't bode enjoy, well. This is quite a good. This sums up the whole Doctor Who movement. <laughs> Him coming on there. Look at that. Okay, show mine. Look at that. Let me. Let me just look, have a look at this. Thank you for coming on before you see this. <laughs> it was your teeth. You came and you went. Hello. Yes. I'm the who. Well, oh, well, new teeth. That's weird. That's exactly what you said. That, that is pretty Boys. much word for word, I have to, I have to oh, confess. Yes, yes. He's a fanboy. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. I love the Doctor Who, and there's the picture I've done. It's got a picture of you with your new teeth, if you can have a look at that. And it's got you standing up like you are just there. There's a Dalek oh. over there. There's K9. There's a TARDIS. It says teeth. It says David Tennant at the bottom. Doctor Who at the bottom, in case there's any doubt. Bonus points, surely. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's lovely. I think you could get sectioned if, if the right people <laughs> saw that. <laughs> OK, uh, Denise Van Outen and David Mitchell have gone for... We, we went for ears. We went for ears. Ears. Now, yeah. controversially, uh, it's wrong, of course. Yeah. Mm. Controversially, Rob Brydon got up while we showed the clip <gasps> and asked David Tennant, is it your nose? Mm. <laughs> oh. Cheat. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, yes, you did, Rob. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. And what proof. did he say? He said, yes, it's my... Ah! He said, yes, it's my nose. <laughs> Were you lying? It might have been, it might have been a little bugger. lie. Sorry. <laughs> That's what you get for cheating, Yes, see? and that shows the new Doctor Who in a very good light, the fact that he would book no lying, cheating Welshman. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at that clip and see whether Jonathan was definitely right, which yes, he was. Yes, come on. Hello. OK. New teeth. That's weird. So where was I? Oh, that's right. Barcelona. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the new Doctor Who, David Turner. Yes, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. See you later. OK, well, let's see how the scores are looking at the end of that. Uh, Sharon and Jonathan have 20 points. Uh, Denise and David have 16. Yeah. Gordon and Rob falling further behind with 13. Oh. Yeah, that's a shame, that's a shame. That's a shame, that's a shame. Right, we've got another bonus round. Here's how it works. I will show you pictures. You work out what headline they represent. Here's an example for you. This is, of course, Jimmy Carr photographs Uranus. <laughs> what I'm going to give you is some real headlines in pictorial form, and you have to work out what they are. Could not be simpler. Here is the first one. Is it an arsenal? What's that? Okay, write down your answers. Whoa, well, we're going to need longer than this. Just Could take a guess. It's all, with... okay. all right, we're the magic roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh. let's have a look oh. and see what you've got. Okay, Rob, Rob, you've got no idea. Neither, neither has Gordon. <laughs> In fairness, he's got a proper job. He's busy during the day. What are you up to? <laughs> Maybe not the finest writing, Jonathan, but I think we'll give you that. We put Crazy Frog beats Coldplay. We couldn't work out what that red thing in the middle was. We thought it was like, a, like a modern art close-up of someone's arse or something. <laughs> Denise and David. Oh, we've got Crazy Frog outsells Coldplay. You are exactly right. Wow. Uh, I've got another one of these. 
Big headline from the year. Oh, oh no, no, it's a gargoyle. Cool. That's Europe, that's the band Europe, okay? That, that's the body. Oh, 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 lung. Oh, oh. Is it a lung or is it a liver? No. Jonathan and Sharon, can I have a little sit down? <laughs> oh. Oh. No. We, we've, got, we've got, once again, we've got the beginning and the end. We've got it, and it's pretty good. Let's have yep. a look and see what you've got. Uh, Denise Van Outen and David Mitchell. We, the first we didn't finish. Jonathan and Sharon, would you tell me what that says? Liverpool rides a bike across Tudor Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool <laughs> rides a bike across <laughs> Tudor Europe. <laughs> oh, the big headline from the year, I remember yeah. now. <laughs> I don't know. Football, Liverpool, how am I to know? <laughs> we saw a Tudor house on a bike. How wrong can we be? <laughs> Rob and Gordon, you yep. seem confident. Yep. What have you um, got? That's the liver. Paul. Second, um, it looks like a VMAX, so it looks like Liverpool's victory in, because it's a cottage, Europe. Champions League. Uh, you are dangerously close. Oh, oh. you're kidding. It, it, well, you're very, very close. It's Liverpool triumph. Oh. In Europe. I, I think we'll give you that. I think you, you were so <laughs> close. That's pretty impressive. OK, we are halfway through now. Uh, Sharon and Jonathan have 21 points. Denise and David have 17 points. Gordon and Rob have 14 points. Yeah. OK, it's break time now. And to keep you entertained during the commercials, see how many Rob Brydon voiceovers you can spot in the next three minutes. <laughs>